Hello everybody. Welcome to a new series on verbal ability from careerright.com. The first topic that we are going to learn in this series today is articles. Now, as all of you know that verbal ability is a very very important section of all your placement tests and entrance exams also. So, we are going to learn the concepts and tricks behind each of these topics first. And then we'll see how examiners actually try to twist the questions to test your concepts in the exams. Okay? So, let's begin. Okay, so whenever we talk about articles in English grammar, we all know that we use three articles in English. They are a, an, and the. The here is the definite article. So, whenever we are talking about something very specifically, we use the article the. While on the other hand, a and an, these are called as indefinite articles. So, whenever we are talking about th something not very specifically, we use these articles. And a and an are used before countable nouns which are singular. Okay. Now, in exams, the examiners are not actually interested in your concepts only. They are interested in knowing whether you are able to apply those concepts or not. So, that is why in this video, we are going to learn 20 rules of English grammar articles so that you are able to actually identify what the examiner is trying to ask you and you are actually able to implement the concepts that you know about articles. Okay. So, let's make sure that we understand each and everything clearly and we are able to apply things. Just knowing is not the purpose. The purpose is to be able to apply what we know, to be able to identify what the examiner is actually trying to ask. Okay, now coming to the uses of indefinite articles a uh, and an. Let us see where should you be using a uh, and where should you be using an. Okay, so the first rule of English grammar for the use of indefinite articles says you use a uh, before singular common nouns beginning with a consonant. Okay, so for those of you who don't know what are consonants, whenever you write your English alphabet series A to Z, the alphabets A, E, I, O, and U, these are your vowels, right? These are your vowels and all other alphabets together, they are called your consonants. So, whenever your noun begins with a consonant, you use the indefinite article a. Let's see this example. She is a teacher. I have used a a here because teacher begins with a T, which is a consonant. Again, Raj painted a picture. So, picture again begins with a P here, which is a consonant okay but you'll see that in english grammar the sound takes precedence over the actual letter and that happens in case of these indefinite articles also so your rule number two here says if the word although it begins with a vowel but the sound it is making is that of a consonant then also you use a right i'll tell you with the help of these examples See, he works for a European company. I have written a O here. Why? My European here begins with a E, which is a vowel. Ideally, I should be using an here. But I am not doing that. Why? Because European here making is the sound of yo. It is not sounding E. Right? So, he works for a European company. Nalanda was a university in India. It's not... It, not an university. No, it is a university in India because again, I see that I see a vowel here, right? U is a vowel, but still I'm using a because the sound it is making is y whenever you pronounce it. University, right? I need a one rupee coin. I don't say I need an one rupee coin. No, it is one rupee coin. Why? Because it begins with a O but it is sounding v. Although it begins with a vowel, but it is sounding v, which is a consonant. So, the sound is more important here, you see. Don't worry. You learn it very, very easily with the help of more examples. We'll do more exercises. For now, just pay attention to what I'm telling you. Okay, now coming to the uses of article an. For an, just to the opposite of what you did for a. Okay, so you'll see that the rule number one here says, Whenever your common noun begins with a vowel, you use an. Okay. And what are vowels? Vowels we just saw are A, E, I, O and U letters. Okay. These are your vowels in English. So, don't forget to carry 
an umbrella this is our example number 1 umbrella here begins with a vowel that is u so i'm talking about a singular thing don't forget to carry an umbrella example number 2 an old man took away the newspaper old here again begins with a o which is a vowel so i'm using an here but as i said in the previous slide sound is more important than the spelling okay so if the word begins with a consonant but the sound it is making is that of a vowel then also you use an okay let's see these examples i'll be there in an r right r here begins with h which is a consonant so ideally if i go by rule number 1 i should be using a here but what is the sound here the sound is that of a i'll be there in an r a right so that is why i am using an here the example number 2 here is he is an honorable man again honorable begins with a h still i am using an because the sound is taking a precedence here so honorable here again sounds a it doesn't sound h he is an honorable man okay so the sound is more important here in the use of indefinite articles a uh, and and as you can see from here okay let's see some practice questions so that you are able to make your concepts more clear and you are able to apply them whenever you are required to okay so now let's do this quick exercise to understand if we have understood the usage of a uh, and an properly or not okay the sentences the blanks are to be filled up with either a uh, or an okay the correct article that you feel it to be my father is dash mla answer it for yourself a uh, or an what should it be the correct answer is my father is an mla right why because although i see mla begins with m which is a consonant i'm still using an because the sound it is making is m a right it's not making the sound of a consonant it's making the sound of a vowel right so my father is an mla mr malhotra dash mp from rajasthan is dash honest man what should it be for both the blanks o or an mr malhotra is an mp for the same reason as the above sentence from rajasthan is an honest man why because again as we saw honorable r honest is sounding to begin with o not h right although i see a consonant here the sound is that of a vowel right so mr malhotra an mp from rajasthan is an honest man okay see how many of them do you get right is dr rekha dash md a or an what should it be answer it for yourself is dr rekha an md right you understood the reason it is dash useful web link a or an what should it be again answer it for yourself it is a useful web link you remember in case of the article a when we were learning about the article a we learnt university right we learnt european right although we see a vowel here the sound is that of a consonant it is a useful web link sound is that of y right i saw dash one legged dog outside our society gate a or an what should it be again it is a repetition of a similar question that we have already seen in the first slide one rupee coin you remember so it is a one legged dog outside our society gate right because although i see a vowel here the sound is that of v it's not o that i'm hearing right so that is why it is a pretty easy nothing difficult just you have to ensure that you practice these type of questions sufficiently okay and right now we are just trying to set up your concepts so whenever they twist the things in the questions you are able to actually identify them okay now see this bonus sentence that i've got for you here a black and a white rabbit were burrow, uh, digging a burrow okay you see a a a here okay now i've brought this sentence here just to show you that we are talking about two rabbits here that is why we have got two a's here a black and a white because many a times you will find such questions in spot the error type of questions 
where they'll confuse you so pay attention just pay attention at the moment when we uh, solve the questions more questions things will become more clear to you how the applications are given to you in the question paper okay now let us move on to the definite article the where we talk about specific things where we talk about definite things okay and trust me there is nothing difficult here it's very very easy nothing difficult all that you have to know is the correct usage of these things and that comes with the understanding and the practice the understanding is here in this video we'll see a lot of practice questions also okay the reason you worry in the exam is because your concepts are not clear okay so let us make sure that your concepts are clear with this video the first rule for the usage of the is names of rivers canals oceans seas straits the group of mountains points on the globe famous buildings these are the type of things before which we use the definite article the right and if i talk to you with some examples now so for example if i take the examples of rivers so you'll say the ganga right see the examples keep seeing the examples the ganga you'll see you'll say the amazon you'll say the neel river right similarly the panama canal the pacific ocean whenever you're talking about oceans the pacific ocean because it is specifically about that particular ocean that we are talking right similarly the black sea the park strait there are a lot of straits in the world so the park strait because we are talking about that particular strait the himalayas right you see pay attention here i have said in the rule i'm talking about the group of mountains the range of mountains okay i'm not talking about a particular mountain here i'm talking about the group of mountains whenever i'm talking about the group of mountains i use the so himalaya is a range of mountains right it is not a single mountain that i'm talking about so i use the himalayas similarly for alps the alps right and similarly if we are talking about specific positions if specific points on the globe right if i'm talking about equator i would say the equator right similarly if i'm talking about north pole south, uh, south pole or something like that i would say the north pole okay but the important thing here is that the meaning of the sentence should convey this thing specifically right let's see some examples things will become clear to you okay now let's see this example this example sentence first of all the pacific ocean is the deepest ocean in the world right so you see i've used the here because i'm specifically talking about pacific ocean here right so the pacific ocean and i know before the names of the oceans i use the word the uh, article the right so the pacific ocean is the deepest ocean in the world okay now i've got some uh, blanks for you in the sentences below let's try to fill them dr richard is dash pacific ocean explorer what will you fill here uh, and the what is it that you should fill here the correct thing to fill here is what it's not the it's a uh, why let me try to explain to you see dr richard is a pacific ocean explorer because i'm not talking about the pacific ocean here i'm not talking about this here i'm talking about that particular explorer right so i'm using a uh, here right because i'm talking about dr richard here which is a singular noun right and i'm talking about the explorer that is why i'm using a uh. second sentence the indus valley civilization originated near dash indus river what should you fill here clearly it is the because i'm talking specifically about the indus river here right we have an expedition plan to dash north pole right so what should you fill here again the because the sentence is specifically talking about the north north pole where do we have the expedition plan to we have the expedition plan to the north pole right so make sure these type of things are clear in your mind if you need pause the video here take a good look so that things are clear in your mind before you move forward okay okay now see this second rule about the use of definite article the is very very interesting pay attention and it's pretty easy also when a compass direction 
immediately follows a preposition you use the definite article the so first of all what are compass directions compass directions are directions like east west north south and there can be many more and what are prepositions prepositions are words like in on above below that specify the position of something right so these are prepositions and these are directions so if you have a direction let's say east and you have a preposition let's say to you will use the definite article the in between right before the name of the direction you will use the definite article the right similarly in east you will not say in east you will say in the east to the east right so you have direction you have preposition and you use the definite article the okay let's see this example sentence the most colorful states lie in the western part of the country so let us see where is the direction the direction is here western and i see a preposition also in so i am using the definite article the here right just before the name of the direction so direction is here i have the preposition here and i am using the article the here right very easy now things become pretty simple okay let's see the second example it felt safer to stay on the southern front than on the then on the northern front okay so we are talking about two directions here southern and northern fantastic do we have the prepositions here before them yes on on so of course we are going to use the definite article the before the name of the direction so the sentence becomes it felt easier or safer to stay on the southern front than on the northern front okay let's see the sentence number 3 that we have got here drive north for the park okay so i have the direction here but do i have a preposition no i don't have a preposition so i'm not going to use the here okay i'll simply say drive north for the park make sense okay let's see one more birds flocked south as winter arrived the direction is here the direction is what it is south and do i have the preposition here no i don't have any preposition here i don't have to in on above below none of those kind of words right so i'm not using the here right so this makes uh, putting up the uh, definite article pretty easier here if you are aware of this rule right let's see some more practice questions based on this fantastic so now let's do the second exercise also together the first sentence is show us some pictures from your adventure in dash west tell me if you will use the word the or not you will use the word the here because i see the direction here and i see the preposition here right so i'm going to use the word the here second one if you want to see siberian cranes head dash west till you reach the wetlands of bharatpur do it for yourself if you want to see the siberian cranes head west the direction is here do i have a preposition here no i don't have a preposition so i'm not going to use the definite article the here right third one to get to the casino drive dash south for 250 meters it's just there okay now i have the direction here but do you see a preposition here no i don't see any preposition here because drive is just a verb here okay so what i'm going to do i'm not going to put up anything here okay the fourth one her house is behind dash west side of the compound wall okay so west side means the direction is here do you see a preposition here see for yourself yes i see a preposition here behind is a preposition because it tells me the position of something right so behind is a preposition here so i'm going to use the word the here the article the here her house is behind the west side of the compound wall okay the fourth one actually the fifth one there is a sequence mistake here her balcony faces dash east so her plants get a lot of sunlight to bloom okay so i have the direction here do i have a preposition no i don't have a preposition so i will not use the here okay now moving on to the next one 
sail dash east said the captain okay so the direction is given here but do i have a preposition here i don't have any word like in on above below the to behind okay so i'll not use the here sail east said the captain pretty simple you can see there is nothing difficult at all here all that i'm saying again is your concepts that matter and i'm trying to build your concepts with the help of these videos make sure that you help yourself also okay pay full attention to these videos they are going to be of tremendous use in your placement tests and in your entrance exams also and they'll help you crack your verbal ability section okay so now see this rule number 3 and rule number 4 these are again very very interesting because a lot of us commit mistakes in this okay and as i said if your concepts are clear these things are very easy okay there is nothing difficult here the only reason we commit mistakes is because we are concepts are not clear okay let's see this third one we use the the definite article the before the names of nationals sectors and communities what does this mean it means that whenever we are talking about the citizens of a country right for example we'll say the english it means the english people the people of england the french means the people of france right similarly the spanish the indians right so whenever you are talking about the nationals of a country or the citizens of a country you mean to say you use the word the right similarly if you are talking about particular sectors of the society then also you use the uh, definite article the for example if you are talking about the whole educated community right the whole sector which is educated you say the educated the literate right the rich similarly if you are talking about the communities in the society right the whole community if you are talking about you use the definite article the right for example the jains means all the jains the hindus means all the hindus right so if you see the uh, practical example of this you can see something like this this sentence dash 6 believe in selfless service now would you use the definite article the here you would why because 6 we are talking about the whole community here right we are not talking about a particular person from the sikh community we are talking about all the sikhs so the sikhs believe in selfless service that is what the sentence is trying to convey right now coming to the next thing the fourth thing is you do not use the definite article the when you are referring to the languages right when you are referring to the names of the languages for example i would say my son is learning french my son is not learning the french i would not say the french no it is wrong here i would simply say my son is learning french but if i wanted to say my son is learning french language then i would use the and that is what is said here in this point that i am making a star okay use the if the word language is immediately followed by the name of the language if you are, uh, are saying french language then you would say the french language right that is what it means see this example things will become clear the korean language is very different from japanese right the korean language is very different from japanese i have used a the here before korean but i have not used the before japanese why because korean is immediately followed by the word language that is why i am using a the here right so it becomes the korean language but japanese there is no word like language following japanese so i'm not using the here if i use the word the here it would mean i'm referring to the people of japan no so i would simply say the korean language is very different from japanese right okay so let's see one more exercise exercise number 3 based on what we have just learned okay the sentence number 1 given to you is dash russian speak dash russian and you are expected to find out whether you would fill the article the in these blanks or not okay let's talk about the first blank the russians i would use the article the here why because i am uh, talking about the people of 
रशिया सो द रशियन्स स्पीक विच लँग्वेज दे स्पीक रशियन राईट अँड बिफोर द नेम ऑफ द लँग्वेज आय डोंट यूज द वी डोंट यूज द डेफिनेट आर्टिकल द राईट सो द रशियन स्पीक रशियन दिस इज वॉट इट वुड बिकम ओके नाव द सेकंड सेंटेन्स डॅश इंग्लिश इज डिफिकल्ट आन्सर इट फॉर युअर सेल्फ वुड यू यूज द आर्टिकल द ऑर नॉट वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द इंग्लिश लँग्वेज हिअर ओके सो वुड यू यूज द आर्टिकल द नो अदरवाईज इट वुड मीन द इंग्लिश इट वुड मीन द पीपल ऑफ इंग्लंड राईट अँड हिअर वी हॅव इज सो वी कॅन नॉट डू दॅट right if you wanted to say the people of england are difficult you would say the english are difficult right since i'm talking about the language i'm not going to use the here okay sentence number 3 dash english language is difficult would you use the article the or not here english is followed by the word language so we have learned we will use the uh, word the here we will use the article the here okay so you can see that this is more about practice and knowing things so i encourage you to practice a lot before you appear for your exams okay and that is what is going to help you actually apply your concepts now the next rule about uh, the usage of article the is we use article the before the names of the scriptures and the newspapers also okay this is pretty simple pretty easy you will not find it difficult at all so you say the ramayana the geeta the times of india right most of the times you will not have a problem with this so let's move on with this okay now see this rule number 5 is also very interesting because it is about a very common confusion that a lot of us have and the confusion is when should you use the the definite article the before the name of a country and when should you not use it so the rule says that you should use the definite article the before the names of the states countries with descriptive names or a political title in them or when the country is a group of islands just read it for now i'm going to explain it to you okay so whenever you see that uh, there are words like united union state republic kingdom these type of words exist in the names of a in the name of a country then you should be using the word the the definite article the before their name okay and these are called as political titles similarly when a country is a group of islands right that is when you use the word the definite article the before its name also okay so for example you would say the united states of america the united kingdom the people's republic of china although we call it china all the time but the actual name of the country is the people's republic of china right the philippines the bahamas why the bahamas because bahamas uh, actually it is a group of islands that form together a country right and they are uh, this is a chain of islands spread over approximately 800 kilometers so that is why the bahamas the maldives because again this is a country which is a group of islands uh, which uh, a group of islands form it together right so the maldives i hope it is becoming clear to you now see uh, let us check an exercise before we go ahead and the exercise is again you have to fill up the blanks here okay and you have to see whether you want to put up the word the or not in these blanks okay the definite article would you use it or not dash thailand officially known as dash kingdom of thailand is a southeast asian country okay now if i uh, the actual name of the country thailand is kingdom of thailand so obviously the word the will definitely go in this second blank okay and now the actual name of the country is the kingdom of thailand so i'll put a the here also so it becomes the thailand right now second sentence my aunt is dash us citizen us is the name of a country here okay but i'm talking about my aunt here i'm not talking about the country here i'm just asking whether she uh, i'm saying that she is a us citizen so basically i'm talking about my aunt that is why i'll fill the article a uh, here i'll not put the here my aunt is a us citizen right i hope you understand this 
nothing difficult as such here things are pretty simple if you pay attention to them so i would highly recommend that you pause the video here also if you are confused anywhere and take a good look at this slide and once you have seen the slide carefully i'm sure things will become pretty easier for you okay now rule number 6 here is also very interesting it says that whenever you are taking the names of the wars battles revolutions treaties alliances agreements reports or organizations you use the definite article the before their name okay but there's a huge exception here and the exception is you do not use the definite article the before world war 1 and world war 2 okay now let's see some examples you'll say the french revolution the treaty of vienna the association of southeast asian nations that is we also refer to as the asean the north atlantic treaty organization or the nato the american civil war that is how you will call it to be but you will not say the world war 1 or the world war 2 you would just say world war 1 world war 2 okay similarly when talking about the periods of the times right for example you will say the stone age the neolithic age whenever you are talking about some particular decade for example if you are talking about the 90th decade the decade of 90s you will say the 1990s this is a period from 1991 to 2000 so 1990s right then the 19th century this is a particular century you are referring to okay so in period of time you will use the in these cases okay okay now rule number 8 says whenever you have ordinals and the words that demonstrate sequence for example the words like first second third first last next you use the definite article the before them right for example you will say she stays on the second floor okay so second floor which is preceded by the let's see who built the next unicorn means who is going to build the next unicorn in the sequence right but there's an exception to this what is the exception the exception is when the sequence word demonstrate the steps to do something when you are whenever you are trying to say that these are the steps to do something first do this second do that next do that okay then you use don't use the word the before them okay let's see this example it will make the things clear for you making black coffee is easy okay so i'm going to tell you how to make black coffee and it's an easy thing that is what the example is trying to say first boil water i'm not using the before this first next add some coffee powder last stir and pour it in the mug okay so you see the words first next last here although they are telling you the sequence but they are steps to do something right that is why you are not using the definite article the before them okay similarly there is another exception to this and the exception is when ordinals are used to refer to the names of the awards mentions and honors then you use, don't use the definite article the before them let's see an example it will make the things better for you okay the example is winning first prize at this event is a big achievement okay so this first prize this is an award right so i'm not using the before it i'm not using the before it no i'm not using it here okay see this uh, example and try it for yourself it was dash fourth award his film received at the event which means that an event was going on and he received the first award second award third award and it was his fourth award we i am talking about a specific award here okay so it was the fourth award that i'll write here okay this is going to be it was the fourth award his film received at the event because at that particular event he received maybe four awards so this was this one was his fourth that is what the sentence is trying to tell you now see the rule number 9 here tells me that whenever you are talking about groups like families bands sports teams you use the definite article the before them right for example you would say the guptas are fun to be with right because you are referring to the whole gupta family here so the guptas now the beatles were one of the most popular bands in the 70s in the decade of 70s the beatles 
this was a band so before the name of a band so the the beatles right similarly when you are talking about the animals and when you are referring to the entire breed of those animals you use the definite article the before them right for example you would say the labrador has a dense hard coat okay because you are talking about the entire species of labrador okay the whole species of labrador has dense and uh, hard coat so that is why you say the labrador here that is what the sentence is conveys here okay but you can always say a labrador has a dense hard coat depending upon the what this uh, sentence is trying to convey right depending on the sentence here this means each and every labrador that is there in the world it has got a dense hard coat okay so you see the difference you are talking about the entire species in the first case that is when you are using the labrador in second case it is about each and every labrador that you are talking about okay so each and every labrador in the species has got a dense and hard coat that is what the sentence here means okay we'll see some examples and exercise that will make things easier for you fantastic so here comes exercise number 5 for us the first sentence is dash camel is called the sheep of the desert find out which article would you fill here answer it for yourself the camel is called the sheep of the desert this is the first thing that i can write here okay and when i write the camel it means the entire species of camel okay so the entire species of camel is termed as the sheep of the desert but i can also write a here that is also correct why because a camel is called the sheep of the desert this sentence is similar to that labrador sentence that we saw in the previous slide okay it conveys here that each and every camel is called the sheep of the desert so both these articles are correct here okay now the second sentence dodo went extinct in the 17th century and there is a blank here what would you fill here which article would you fill here a uh, the and is definitely not possible so would you write the yes i would write the here why because if i write a here it would mean that a dodo went extinct in the 17th century no the entire species of dodo actually went extinct so i would say the dodo because i want to refer to the complete species the whole species of dodo okay so the dodo went extinct in the 17th century is correct here the third one okay again a sequence mistake so third one here for many years man used dash horse for transportation okay so what would you fill would you fill the or a what would you write here i would write the here because for many years man used the horse means each and every horse the entire species of horse was horses was used for transportation it was not any particular horse that they were using for transportation they were using the entire species of horses for transportation purpose okay okay now the rule number 11 here says while using proper nouns as common nouns you use the definite article the let's try to understand this with the help of an example so the example given to you here is bangalore is the silicon valley of asia the silicon valley it's not that bangalore is the silicon valley itself it just means that bangalore has the properties of the silicon valley right it is similar to the silicon valley okay it has got many connections it has got good internet connectivity it has got a lot of uh, you know it companies there the infrastructure is like that that is what it is trying to convey actually then you have the second example here this is a very very common example given in this context kalidas is the shakespeare of india okay so you see the shakespeare shakespeare he was a famous dramatist now kalidas has got the qualities of shakespeare it doesn't mean that kalidas is the shakespeare himself it just means the sentence is trying to tell you that kalidas has got some properties of shakespeare right so kalidas is the shakespeare of india right now see this example here here you are required to fill this blank 
सिंधु रिवर इज डैश नील ऑफ इंडिया नाउ द नील ऑफ इंडिया विच मीन्स दैट सिंधु रिवर हैज गॉट दीज सिमिलर क्वालिटीज इट्स नॉट दैट इट हैज बिकम नील इन इट सेल्फ it has, it has got the qualities of neel maybe its length maybe its water is like that maybe the uh, organisms that uh, uh, inhabited the sindhu river they are similar to the uh, organisms there so it has got the qualities of this river right that is what the sentence is trying to actually convey to you so you have to see what the meaning of the sentence is what is the uh, sentence trying to tell you that is how you should use your articles okay now the rule number 12 here tells you that whenever you are using the superlative degree you have to use the before it right he is the best doctor in the town right so you understand all the words is they have got these words have got positive degree they are positive then you have got comparative and then you have got superlatives right so for example you'll say good better best right so this is what it means that whenever you are using this degree superlative degree the topmost degree you'll use the before it right similarly you may have bad worse worst these are the three degrees right so whenever you are using worst you will use the before it that that is what the rule is trying to tell you okay so he is the best doctor in the town april and may are the hottest month in india hot hotter hottest so hottest is the superlative degree i am using the before it okay now let's see this sentence the day i got my first job offer was fill fill this blank with the form of this the day i got my first job offer was dash day of my life right so if somebody has gotten a job it's his, it's their first job it will be the happiest day of their life right so what i'll fill here the happiest the happiest day of life okay now see this just in the previous slide i told you that whenever you are using the superlative degree of an adjective you use the before it the definite article the before it but now on this slide i'm telling you two cases where you use the even before the comparative degree also okay the rule number 13 here is you use the before the comparative degree of the adjective when you mean selection okay let me try to explain it to you with the help of an example here okay the first example is ram and sham were measuring their height sham is the taller one taller adjective so tall taller tallest which degree is this this is comparative i am still using the before it why because i mean selection right out of the two boys sham is the taller one you see the sense that sentence is trying to convey is more important right so sham is the taller one i am trying to select one boy that is why i am using the here even before the comparative degree see the second sentence here here also i mean selection right i am i mean comparison but i am comparing using of see the sentence ram is the faster one of the two athletes out of the two athletes that ran ram is the faster one so fast faster fastest comparative degree and the comparison is using of so i'm using the before it right but in the second case in the next case the comparison is using than see the sentence ram is faster than the three boys here again i have faster the comparative degree but the comparison here is using than right so i'm using just faster i'm not saying the faster i'm not saying the faster ram is the faster than no ram is faster than the three boys so you see pay attention to these two sentences i would highly appreciate if you pause the video here and take a good look at these two sentences the two types of comparisons these things that are circled here pay attention to them okay and now coming to the 14th rule again the comparative degree where you will use the before it right 
so example uh, okay before the example let's see what the rule is comparative degree of adjective when you mean to convey a sense of proportion right one thing rises the other thing also rises one thing rises the other thing falls so you are trying to uh, convey the sense of proportion here okay see the sentence the higher you go the cooler you feel right high higher highest cool cooler coolest right still i'm using the before both of these why because i mean to say that the higher you go the temperatures would start falling and you would feel cooler so the higher you go the cooler you feel right the second sentence the more you practice the better you play good better best right comparative degree still i'm using the because the more you practice the better you play okay i hope things have become clear to you if you have any doubt if you have any confusions pause the video here for the 14th rule also and take a good look at this okay now see this is something really interesting if two subjects or things are thought of as a one single unit use the article only before the first subject okay so now there are certain things that are used in pairs right that we talk about only in pairs like husband and wife bride and groom bacon and eggs cup and saucer these are the things which are thought of as units right so in this case you will use the article only before the first subject okay the husband and wife are invited to the party right so husband and wife here this is a unit this is a single unit and both of them are invited together to the party so i have used the only once that is before the first subject i have not said the husband and the wife the husband and wife are invited to the party which means both of them together are invited to the party right similarly if you have bride and groom if you have bacon and eggs if you have cup and saucer this similar thing will happen there also see this example now she served me the tea in a beautiful cup and saucer so cup and saucer this is again thought of as a single unit right so what you write you write a uh, only once here you write she served me the tea in a beautiful cup and saucer you don't say a beautiful cup and a beautiful saucer right or a cup and a saucer no you would just use the article only once right something very very interesting which we usually miss out upon okay now see knowing these small concepts is very very important because all the questions that you see in the exam like spot the error then you have those sentence improvement type of problems then you have your uh, fill in the blanks all those type of problems the base is actually in these concepts when your concepts are not correct you are not able to solve these questions also okay and apart from that there is one more important thing and it is while it is important to know where to use these articles it is equally important to understand where to omit these articles where you should not use these articles and i'm going to cover this in the next lecture so make sure that you have understood this lecture and also make sure that you see the next video also because there i'll discuss omission of articles which are the places where you should not be using the articles because a lot of questions come from there also okay and we'll also practice spot the error sentence improvement fill in the blanks type of questions in the coming videos so stay tuned so guys with this we come to the end of this video and i sincerely hope that whatever we have learned today in this video on articles is going to be useful to you in solving the questions from this topic in the coming days we'll release more videos on verbal ability and we'll talk about other topics also and we'll see a lot of practice questions also that actually make it to the exam so if you want to be updated about those topics also those videos also make sure that you subscribe to the channel and if you found today's video useful do give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends also i'll see you very soon with a new video till then bye bye and take care